Good morning, Sixth Form. I hope everything is okay with you and your families in this uh, strange time we find ourselves in lockdown. Um, I know it wasn't the way that you all wanted to finish your Cumbran High School studies, um, and I know that is difficult to deal with in a lot of cases, um, but your head of year, Mr Chapman, uh, Miss Davis, and form teachers have been doing a fantastic job to support you to move forward, whether it be to university, um, job prospects with Careers Wales, or whether it's that move into colleague went. Um, so although life's kind of been put on pause, um, the good thing about a pause button is that we can play, press play quite quickly. Um, and when we are able to get back up and run into what is in some ways normality, um, that we, are, we have supported you the best way possible. Um, if you still have got any queries or concerns about anything, please don't sit on them. Please contact your support team um, through Google Classroom or email, as I know many of you have the email links, um, so that we can target you and help support you um, in the best possible way we can. I don't know about you, but I keep finding myself saying, I bet I never thought in quite a negative way. Um, I bet I never thought I could, couldn't pop down to see my parents who just live not far from me. Um, I bet I never thought I couldn't pop into shops and just grab what I needed quickly without queuing and all the different um, restrictions that apply to shopping. What I wanted to have a quick look at today is some positives. So even though I haven't been able to do those things that I normally do, I've actually had chance um, or time to do the things that I never thought I would do. Um, or actually, I probably had the time, but with life getting in the way of everything, you don't always prioritise. So I'll just have a little look at those things that I've been up to in lockdown. So some of the things that I thought I would never said I'd be doing um, is mainly creative. I am not a creative person at all. Um, my uh, attempts at drawing involves stick men. So this um, lockdown so far, I've gone back to colouring. So I've coloured a VE day, got quite a few of these dotted around um, my front door when it was VE day and I made loops, um, part of my uh, youngest homework. So we did lots of those. Um, I helped my three-year-old do a coloured rainbow. Actually, I should say that's probably my attempt. That looks like a three-year-old's done it, but actually it was my three-year-old. I also did with my family a lockdown together. So as you can see, it's my hand, my husband's and my two children all together. Um, just some of those things to kind of remind us of the time that we've been um, spent in lockdown. I'm sure around by you, you have Cumbran Rocks. Um, we've got lots of Rocks Villages uh, web pages by us where we all paint different pictures. So um, that's an attempt um, that we've done in our house. We've got lots of these scattered around and it's been lovely to go out and about and have a look at all the different rocks that children have been making in the local area. Kind of lifts lift you up a bit. I've been on bike rides. Yes, I own a bike. Um, I've done more riding on that bike in the last couple of weeks than in all the years I've had it. Um, I've learned digital things that I never thought I would. I've had team meetings with all your uh, form teachers and um, heads of you. Um, and I've also let my husband dye my hair. Now, I never thought I'd say that, and that is a positive because my grey was far too bad. Um, but I do joke. It's just been an ideal opportunity to do lots of those things that I never thought I would do. Um, and I read an interesting article today about we're in a rush to get back to our old lives, which is true, but it's also a good time for us all to think what parts of what I used to do before lockdown, what I like to not do anymore, because actually they weren't the best things for me, and what else can I carry on doing? So what I'd like you to take away today is what have you done differently that you thought you would never say you did, um, but that you would like to carry on doing as well? Um, I strongly advise you as well to read the Cumbran Chronicles if you haven't already. There's lots of lovely messages and stories um, from different subjects and everything that people have been doing in the local area through the school. Lots of them really cheered me up um, when I was having a bad day recently because they're fabulous and really show what everybody's doing to pull together as a team and as family. Uh, following my uh, attempt at a virtual assembly, Mr Savory is also going to... Um, 
have a uh, talk to you about what he's been up to in lockdown. So I just want to take this opportunity to say, stay safe. If you're feeling under pressure, at all overwhelmed by anything, please contact your form teachers and your heads of you. We're here to help you. Um, and I'm sure we'll be all together at some point very soon, if not in the near future. Take care all. Bye. Hi, yeah. Good morning, all. It's um, Sarah here from, from home, which is very unusual um, as we're getting used to it. It's, uh, it still feels a bit strange. Uh, I think, like lots of you, um, a little bit surprised to get two weeks off before Easter, uh, but thought perhaps that would be the mo that would be the end of it. Um, a force just seems to be going on and on. And I think we're on something like week ten, week eleven now, um, and it's, it is for me. It still seems rather strange. Um, I hope you're keeping well. I hope your families and yourself are safe. Um, hope you're keeping yourself occupied, uh, doing a little bit, um, whether it be a bit of fitness or a bit of schoolwork or just enjoying the sunshine. What I've decided to do. Um, it's just a little bit of reflection really during the tap, uh, past 10 weeks has given us an opportunity to have a look at um, where we're at um, so what I've done is looked at some positives and some negatives um, of this whole situation now for, for me personally the biggest positive is spending time with family now that can obviously be a negative as well um, and after 10 weeks we, we're up, it's probably 50-50 uh, but I have enjoyed um, seeing my two girls um, for a lot of time and, and my wife so that, that, that's been a positive for me uh, also been a, a time to get jobs done with those little things that um, you promise you're going to do but you never get around to it because let's be honest we're all so busy um, so trying to tick them off the list has also been a positive um, take stock about what's important I think it's important that we do that we all set goals whether it's GCSEs whether it's uh, key stage 3 results um, literacy and numeracy scores etc but sometimes it's to take stock about where we actually are and what's really important in our lives so I think over the last 10 weeks I've done a little bit of reflect on that as well um, it's also made me very grateful um, for things that, we, that I personally have taken for granted and just assumed they're always going to be there um, I think it's excellent the way that everybody's responded uh, for the NHS um, with regards to the Thursday night clapping, not just the NHS, care workers, people that we take for granted, care workers, NHS, uh, bin collections, um, people that keep the, the streets clean, supermarkets, lorry drivers, etc. All those people, until this lockdown, we took for granted. So I think it's important that we keep that going even when we come up the other side of, of COVID-19. Um, and hopefully they get rewarded for their hard work. Um, also, the positive has been the weather for me. Um, I think it's been absolutely beautiful. And I think it's made this little pro, this, this terrible process, um, a little bit easier. Um, I think during the ten weeks that we've been off now, I think we've seen uh, two, three days of rain, um, which has made going in the garden, a bit of fresh air, doing your daily exercise, going out for me, is walking the dogs, etc., etc., quite pleasant. Um, I, I'm very fortunate to live on. Um, a mountain therefore I got easy access to those sort of things so again very 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 uh, beneficial for myself is to appreciate where I live um, which I think I think I was again I, I was taking for granted in this 10 week lockdown it has um, made me appreciate one of those things as well um, also finally um, one of the other things I appreciated is is uh, my job really because when you reflect um, you spend time away for something you do realise that you start to miss it. Um, I, I miss chasing uh, students around Cumbran High. Um, I miss contacting home with parents, having conversations. Just the day-to-day -day stuff I miss. Um, also in a fortunate position, when you see people, um, i got friends who have not worked for 10 weeks. Um, fortunately, I'm in a position where um, I'm still working. Therefore, I'm still being able to pay the bills. A lot of my friends haven't got that. So, a, 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 two, a two benefit for me was a realizing how much I actually enjoy my job, the day to day running, um, and also seeing my friends who are less fortunate. So that, that's that's put again put things into perspective for me. Um, negatives, I don't know if you can tell, uh, but my daughter who's thirteen has cut my hair um, twice. Um, she hasn't done a bad job, but um, I can't wait to get to the barbers to do do it properly. Um, but in fairness, she, she, she's had a good go and she's left some on top, which I appreciated. Um, obviously, it's a difficult time for lots of people not being able to see uh, friends and, and close family. Um, hopefully, with technology, uh, things like Skype, um, I know Zoom's very, been very popular, Teams has been very popular. That has um, made it a little bit more easier to cope with. But not being able to see loved ones is obviously very, very difficult. Um, for me, big negative as well is being out of routine. Um, I'm a creature of habit. 
and that I like to be. This is what I'm doing on Monday, this is what I'm doing on Tuesday, this is what I'm doing on Wednesday. That's sort of gone up the window a little bit. Um, I try to keep a structure as much as I possibly can. But like you guys, it, it's, it's quite difficult when you haven't got a start time, end time, to do everything that you want to do, and as constructively and as positively as, as, as you do. Okay, so th that's a little bit of thought for myself, both positive and negative is where we're at. Obviously, I've not included the obvious ones. Far too many people uh, are becoming victims of it. Victims of it. Far too many people have passed away. Um, I think that's a discussion for after when it all rocks up. What we could have done better, how we could learn from it to make sure that we don't lose thirty or thousand people in this way again. Um, but that's 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 a discussion for a further day. Um, please stay safe. Please keep active. Please keep doing little bits that you can, whether it's school or whether it's um, exercise, um, helping out on the house, etc. Reading not reading a book. Um, watching documentaries etc to keep yourself busy keep your mind ticking over and hopefully see you very soon take care